Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll do a bonus video on Sunday, so I don't want you to miss any of them. In today's video, I have a few pieces here from Express that I have added to my summer wardrobe. And as I was styling these pieces up, I realized that I was doing a few key things to elevate each look. If you are not familiar with my channel, then you would not know that I shop with Express a lot. One of the reasons why I like to do so is because they have really great quality basics that I can elevate depending on how I style them up and I can also easily incorporate them into my existing wardrobe. So that gave me a really good idea to show you guys how I just elevate basic pieces and when I mean basic, when I say basic, I don't mean just t-shirts and things like that. I mean just very like classic style silhouettes. So this video is sponsored by Express. If you are interested in seeing how I style up these pieces then stick around. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into these pieces and we'll get into the styling a little bit later. So my first piece is a suit. And one of my tips for elevating your basics is to add a third piece, which is why I absolutely love blazers in my wardrobe. So here is a yellow suit that I picked up and I absolutely love this color. I don't have a yellow blazer or suit in my wardrobe and um, I really enjoyed this pastel color. I think it's really nice for spring and summer and this color even though you have on a full blazer like a long sleeve blazer you won't look so hot because of the color. So I really do like this. This is actually a thicker material as well so it's perfect for transitioning even though we're well into into summer now um, I really do like this so one thing that I really hate is that I got this in a size extra large both pieces and it is too big the blazer I can make work because I do like an oversized blazer but the pants are so large so what I'm gonna do is just style up the blazer a little bit later but I absolutely love this blazer it is double breasted so you know if it's not double breasted I don't want it right so absolutely love this. So make sure you add that third piece in your wardrobe, whether it be a blazer, an overshirt, some type of accessory or something like that, that will really elevate all of your looks. So I also wanted to show you how I would pair this blazer with some jeans. Now, mind you, if the pants fit, I would have worn this look as a full suit and it would have been so good but they don't unfortunately. So I added a pair of jeans. I did pick these up from Express a couple of months ago and I really love these. These are like a nice straight leg jean. I added a pair of white Bottega dupes and I really love these. And instead of adding a shirt underneath, I just wore the blazer as is, just double breasted. And I added a really um, cute little choker necklace very like sophist, very elegant in my opinion. And I just have them very minimal jewelry, just a watch and some earrings. And I added a pop of color with this uh, Chanel handbag. So I really feel like this is a very chic look, but it's still fun because we have some colors going on, very pastel, um, but you still look super elevated, super sophisticated. And I just love it so much. So let me know what you guys think about this look very fun very me um covered yet still sexy it's just doing all the things so let me know what y'all think Now my next item is an orange blazer and I don't know if the camera is doing this justice but this orange color is to die for. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very bright tangerine actually and I got this in a size large. It fits a lot better and this is a lighter weight blazer as well. Absolutely love this blazer so much and my next tip for elevating looks is to create like a monochromatic look. So you can do that with the suit or you can do that just by adding two or three pieces that are all in the same color, right? So I do have this dress from Express, but I've already hauled this 
a few months ago love this dress so much and some people don't like to show their arms so you can add this little second piece here and just drape it over your shoulder and you now have a little bit more of a sophisticated look but the color palette is first of all monochrome so it's very chic and elevated and secondly it is a bright color so it's still fun and not too stuffy absolutely love this blazer and i cannot wait to style it up okay guys so here we have the orange blazer now for this look i went monochromatic and i've already had this orange slip dress in my wardrobe from express so i just draped the blazer right on top i also added a pair of gold heels from express which i absolutely love these are really comfortable especially for this heel height definitely give it a minimal body vibes also bottega veneta so this is definitely an elevated look and just for a little pop of color and texture i added this pony hair zebra uh little handbag that i have and this is more of like a sophisticated sexy look so if you need to go somewhere where you don't want to show too much i think that this is a really cute look but you're still making a statement because the color is so vibrant and so bright so it's super Pretty. I could also see this with a pair of pumps or mules. You don't have to do like wrap around sandals or you can just wrap the sandals a little bit lower because I am shorter. I probably should have. But yeah, you get the you get the vibe, right? Really cute. Loving this orange blazer, you guys like it's such a vibe. Beautiful. like the idea of going with the jean for this blazer but also keeping it very monochromatic on top so I just popped on the exact same color tank top underneath and again with some jeans that are like straight leg I have a minimal heel on it's a metallic gold very soft gold and I just added this uh, white handbag a nice white slouchy clutch would work and I think this would be really cute for like a work look. If you're back at the office, you can definitely still give summer vibes because the color is gorgeous, but you're definitely appropriate for the office as well. Not sure if you guys are dressing up, but if you need to, this could be like a casual Friday look, you know? So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. And of course, add your gold accessories because gold and orange are the perfect pair. So next up, I have a pair of denim shorts. And my rule of thumb when it comes to shorts is to size up, especially if you're anything like me and you have wider hips and larger thighs, sizing up really does give you a little bit more room in the uh, thigh area. And especially if you go for a shorter short, this is a little short for me. Um, it's not a Bermuda short, which is something that I typically wear. So it's just a little bit shorter. And if you go with something a little shorter, you don't want the shorts to be skin tight that can definitely take the look to a different level and we do want to remain chic and elevated in our look so absolutely love these i picked these up in a size 14. they have a high rise fit and they also have this tie waist belt that is removable so i think this is really cute if you want to kind of wear these plain um you can tie up this belt or you can remove this and you know just pair the shorts different ways they do have this cuff that's already in there so it just makes it for just a little bit more fun and it has a little bit of interest. So I really do like these. They also have a little bit of stretch as well. And they also have like the slip pockets in the back. So you'll see how I end up elevating this look a little bit later. But one of the things that I really like to do is to, like I said before, add that third piece. So you can always add a blazer. You can always add, um, like if you did a tank top, you can do like an overshirt, like a nice linen shirt or something like that. Or Especially if you have really short shorts, maybe pairing it down with a pair of flatter shoes, you know, different things like that. You don't, you want to have a really nice balance. So yeah, you can do so many things with these in your wardrobe. Okay guys, so for this look, I went really casual. I have on the yellow blazer and also the denim shorts. Now these shorts are pretty short, like I mentioned, and this blazer is a bit oversized for me. This is in a size extra large. 
So to combat that, I added this crossbody bag. This is just like an old Gucci cream bag that I've had. And I added a pair of Gucci loafers as well, just to keep the look very casual because with short shorts, you wanna be really careful with adding heels. Um, but one thing that I do like about this blazer is that it meets the shorts or it's a little bit longer than the shorts actually. So it really does kind of give you that third piece that elevates your look and it stops you from looking a little too juvenile and also too risque when it comes to wearing short shorts, especially if you have larger thighs. So I also accessorize with a little arm candy and you can see I just have on my Dior bracelets, my watch, a couple of rings, you know, nothing too much, just gold accessories. And I really do like this look. Next up, I have a little bit of a wow card here. And these are a pair of trousers. Love this color. They are like an army olive green color and they're very flowy, very cooling. I can tell they also have a tie waist. So these are really cute. Um, you can pair these very casually if you wanted to just do a tank top and like some sandals or you can dress these up. You can do, um, you know, a blazer on top. So many different things you can do. One thing that attracted me to these pants are the mixed media on front. And these are really flimsy, as you can see. So even me like continuously buttoning these up, they just keep falling. But they have the mixed media. I love the fact that it has like a little bit of satin on there. And these really do remind me of like Carrie Bradshaw, more so early 2000s. So you can really do some fun things with these. I can't wait to style these up for you guys. And since these can be a bit casual, you can definitely add a heel and that will really elevate this look. So that's another thing that I love to do, especially because I'm only 5'1", you guys, I'm really short. So I love adding a heel and instantly it just makes me look way more put together than having flats on with like a looser trouser. So you'll see how I style these up a little bit later. Okay guys, so here we have these really cute olive mixed media pants love the satin panels on these and as you can see they're a little bit cropped I think they're supposed to be a little more cropped but being that I'm only 5'1 they hit me like right at my ankle but I'm not mad at it for the simple fact that it really does show off my shoes and I'm a shoe girl so that's right up my alley so in order to elevate this look I did it with my accessories um, and also keeping everything very clean and streamlined so I have on this really cute white muscle tee I love how this like broadens my shoulders a little bit it kind of balances me out because I have really wide hips so I love the way that this looks I also added a pair of white barely there sandals that are from Alexander Wang they have a little bit of blend on them but nothing too much but to tie in with that bling and that kind of silver element from the zippers here and the shoes I went ahead and added some blinged accessories so I have some rings my watch um, so really loving the accessories now I also added this mint bag which gave it another layer of green so I really like tonal colors but if you're not really sure about how to mix those colors just start off with your accessories like i did so adding this mint green bag gave it a pop of color but it still goes really well with the green and it's very like subtle if that makes sense so i'm really feeling this one what do you guys think about it So I also picked up this satin skirt and I really love the color of this. It's brown, but it's like a reddish brown color. Love this. This comes in two other colors as well, black and I think like a nudie pink. But I picked this one up because this color is really on trend. So doing like tonal colors with this, if you wanted to do like nudes or whatever have you, gorgeous. But it also kind of gave me a Jacquemus vibe. So I really wanted to play that up and you'll see me style this a little bit later. I also like that it is a mini, but it's not too short at least for me and this little detailing here is very flattering across the belly so it does have a zipper in the back as well so really cute plain satin skirt but it's a little bit of something different than the midi satin skirt that everyone has so if you want something a little bit different check this one out 
Okay guys, so for this look, I have on the brown satin skirt and this skirt is a bit short for me, but I decided to go ahead and style it up and show you how I would wear this. It's definitely giving me vacation vibes. So I went ahead and added this really flowy linen top. You can add any linen shirt that you have in your wardrobe. The only thing I did was just wrapped it around me. So it gives it like a wrap style, mimicking the wrap and ruched detailing in the skirt. So I really like that. And you can, like I said, use any linen top that you have as long as it's large enough to where you can wrap it around you. And I also paired it with some white mules, keeping everything very simple and just some gold earrings, right? So like I said, very vacation vibes. Um, the key to this look is keeping everything simple. And to top it all off, I added this cute little basket bag from Ula Johnson and I really like this a lot so again vacation vibes um, I just I like this so much so so like I mentioned before this is definitely giving vacation vibes so I can definitely see this for like a beach dinner or just a dinner date on a vacation in a tropical area so really feeling this let me know what you guys think about it I do wish the skirt was a bit longer but size up you know size up and it'll give you a little bit more looseness and length as well and you can always just get the waist taken in that's probably what i should have done so yeah here is the look let me know what you guys think about it And last but not least, I did pick up a pair of metallic heels. Now, metallic shoes in the summertime are just gorgeous, especially on brown skin. So I love these shoes so much. These shoes really gave me all of the designer vibes. They're definitely giving Bottega Veneta by the toe and also this little um, thong sandal detailing. They're also giving Amina Muwadi vibes with this heel. If you can see, it's like a flared out heel. Absolutely love these. They are very soft, you guys. Just beautiful quality and i also like the fact that the gold is a soft gold it's not too garish and i just love these shoes so much so you can kind of tie these modestly around your ankle or you can pull these all the way up your leg just depending on how you want to style these so really was impressed to see these and they're just so gorgeous so love these so much all right, guys, so that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out that description box for all of these pieces. They will be linked down below. You can also just check out express.com for any other items that you may be interested in that may be similar or whatever have you. Um, also, let me know if these tips that I gave you on how I elevate my basic pieces was helpful for you all. I really do enjoy creating content that is helpful for you guys. So giving me a thumbs up would let me know if you enjoyed that. And yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, guys.